You're watching Let's Chat. Let's face it, when it comes to personal growth, we could all use a little help, and for that we turn to the expert. In fact, our next guest has written six books about that very subject. Thomas Fellows is here and is here to talk about book number six, Alone at the Lunch Table, How to Rise from Rejection. Thomas, good to see you. Yes, thanks so much for having me, Chip. I appreciate it. Tell me what inspired you to write this particular book. I would say just because I've been rejected over and over again in my life by, um, you know, certain jobs, um, women, um, you know, getting fired from jobs. And I would say that there's three books that really inspire this book. Um, and it's one is in The Road to Character by David Brooks where David Brooks makes the claim that the most successful people are successful because this person or that person told them they couldn't do this or that, and as a result, and as a result they got a chip on their shoulder. Um, and then David, Bro uh, and then Malcolm Gladwell and David and Goliath speaks to the fact that um, when you are an underdog, you take risks that normal people wouldn't normally take. But you have taken that rejection, turned it around, and used it to your advantage. How can the rest of us do that? Well, when you are rejected, it really, you know, gets into that fight or flight, fight response and you build up adrenaline and you build up more energy, which makes you succeed the next time. Give me an example of a few folks of uh, historical note that found themselves in that seat getting hit by rejection time and time again and used that to their advantage and came out way on top of the game. Yes, I would say Abraham Lincoln, Frederick Douglass, Alexander Hamilton, and Martin Luther King Jr. All are who are all are who are very impactful Americans. And I guess it's fair to say that even though a lot of us have experienced that very same thing, rejection, that can be used to your advantage ultimately. Yet on the other side of that coin, we're all we all know people who have never been rejected, at least to hear them yes. tell it. And getting positive feedback all the time is not good either. Yeah, getting positive feedback is not good because chances are you're gonna get complacent and you're not gonna grow. Um, there are exceptions to this, maybe such as a Taylor Swift or LeBron James or Scotty Sheffer now in golf. But it's much easier sometimes to have success being rejected in the first place. And you have written again a number of books about this. This is book number six called Alone at the Lunch Table, How to Rise from Rejection. Thomas, tell me where we can get the book. Barnes and Noble and also on Amazon. Barnes and Noble and at Amazon. And I'm sure you've already got plans for book number seven that's not too far away. Can you give us a sneak peek of what that's going to be about? Yes, that book will actually, I've re actually written 10 books and that will be book number 11. And that's called Rolling the Dice, Risk Aversion Explained. Mm -hmm. And I talk about how taking risks in life, different types of risk can lead you to success. Thomas, always good to spend a few minutes with you. Thanks so much for joining us. And if you want to find out more about his incredible story, just check out the website, thfellows.com. That's thfellows.com. We'll be right Thank back after this. Thank you.